Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Now, usually I make videos focused around video games, and while this is somewhat related to video games, this is more of just a life topic in general. Look, I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist, guru, fortune teller, or anything like that. I'm just a guy. And I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, how to feel or how to act. You're your own person. And you can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't negatively affect or hurt someone else. But that doesn't mean I can't share my opinion or my perspective on life. That being, well, the title of this video. There's no such thing as being too optimistic. Look, I get it. Life, the world, it can be dark. It can be, to put it bluntly, shit. You can go through some bad stuff, you can see some bad stuff, you can feel some bad stuff. Look, there's no denying that life, the world, the human race, has a wide assortment of problems. There is no denying it. Sadness, anger, they are emotions you're going to feel, they are emotions you have to feel, you can't ignore them. It's a part of life, it's a part of living life. However, it is incredibly unhealthy to not find a balance of the negative and the positive. If you are consistently angry, sad, depressed, skeptical, cynical, always assuming the worst of an individual or a situation. Now this is just my opinion, but that's not the way to live, that's not life, it's a part of life. And if you're only focusing on a single part of life, and not the whole of what life is, well, first off, you're physically harming yourself. It has been proven, scientifically proven, that individuals who mostly focus and harbor negative emotions, whether it be sadness, anger, or an accumulation of stress, will have physical effects on the body, unhealthy ones, dangerous ones even. But, going back to what I said about this being only a part of life, these negative emotions, why hinder yourself in being what a human being is. Being a human being and experiencing life is about everything, the negative and the positive, and finding a healthy balance. We can't be happy all the time, but we can't be sad and miserable all the time either. We can't always assume that some other person is going to betray us or hurt us. But at the same time, you gotta be cautious and you gotta put your foot down when you find it necessary. The basis of what I'm getting at here is be rational. No matter the situation, no matter how stressful, no matter how bizarre, no matter how silly, be rational. Else you will do and say things that you will regret down the line. I know a lot of people hate it when others say this, but you gotta calm down, you gotta stay calm. Now I know people's argument to this is, well if I'm already angry, telling me to be calm, stay calm, isn't gonna make me calm, it's just gonna get me more angry. That's true in some respects, but you are in control of your own emotions and your own actions. So maybe telling you to stay calm or calm down is the wrong choice of words. Perhaps control yourself would be more appropriate, and I don't mean that in a rude way. I know when some people say control yourself, they mean it in an almost derogatory way. However, when I say control yourself, I mean more be rational, look at the situation, take a step back for a moment, don't jump ahead, don't make assumptions. Look at the situation as a whole. How serious is the situation? What are the consequences of the situation depending on what decisions are made here? And finally, how do you want to represent yourself and others in this situation? Look, I know I'm sounding technical and I sound like I'm going on a tirade or preaching or something like that, but really just take a moment, maybe replay the video, replay the stuff I'm saying, and just really listen. I know at first it could be a lot to take in, but if you really listen, just Think. Think about what I'm saying. Go over it in your head. Have a conversation with yourself, maybe others. Because I know what I'm saying could be interpreted in many different ways. While I have my own way, my own interpretation of what I am saying, what I am trying to imply, I realize someone out there may look at it from a different perspective. So let me try and simplify my point. Now as cliched as this sounds, you only live once. And it's important that you live that life to strive for the positive. Now this is not an opinion. You should never strive towards the negative. You should never strive to be angry. Should you be angry if you feel angry about a situation? Yes, be angry, but don't go out of your way to be angry. Don't look, search out excuses to be angry, to be sad. Because while emotions are a part of who we are and we at times can lose control, 
We are always in control. Even when we lose control, we are still in control. It's how you exercise that control that is most important. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what does this have to do with the title? Too optimistic? No such thing? Well, by optimistic, I mean happy. And if not happy, then just content. You don't need to be a ray of sunshine all the time. But you don't need to be a gloomy cloud either. For every horrible and tragic event that happens to us as human beings, there is always joy. There is always hope. There's always kindness and charity and curiosity to be found. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I know there are people out there that will tell you, oh, that's bullshit, the world is horrible, this is a horrible place, the human race is horrible. Here in the common sense department, we classify those individuals as pessimists. And believe me, honestly, believe me, trust me, when I say this, you will live a much longer and comfortable life. Being a pessimist, being overly negative, gains you nothing. If anything, it takes away. It takes away from you in so many ways. It takes away from you mentally, physically. It takes away from others as well. Now, I'm not saying be overtly positive, because if you're positive about everything, that's just as bad as being a pessimist. I still stand by that there's no such thing as too much optimism, but putting an optimistic spin on every situation, even tragic ones, I'm sorry, to me at least, just won't fly. If something bad happened, then something bad happened. We've got to accept it, we've got to acknowledge it, deal with it, but not let it consume us, not let it direct us as a person. Let me give you an example. Say your best friend betrays you. Someone you've known for years and you trust does something equivalent to stabbing you in the back. So you lost a friend, we're in a bad situation, trust was broken, and something was lost. But do not, never, let this moment have you lose faith in people, in the human race in general? Yes, there are some evil things out there, evil creatures that I would not even describe as being anything like human. And then there are the Neanderthals of the world. I'm sure you've seen enough stupid YouTube videos of people doing stupid things to know what I'm talking about. But I see this comment spring up online all the time, I've lost faith in humanity. Don't! Don't insume the worst of our entire species based on a select number of people. Again, being overly pessimistic, overly negative. It doesn't help you and it doesn't help those around you. Must you be cautious? Absolutely, always be cautious, but never make assumptions, never assume. If you create this paranoia about the people around you, friends, family, and strangers, that they're all out to get you, you are hindering yourself, you are hindering your life. Again, you must always be cautious because there is the negative. There are the tragedies. There are the evils. I'm not saying to ignore them. I'm just saying to not let them consume you, to beat you. There is happiness. There is love. There is joy. There are spectacular things to do and see as a human being in this life. And if I have to break it down to the bare minimum basics, the basics of concepts, then I will. Don't let evil win. You're the good guy. I'm the good guy. We're the good guys. Don't let evil win. Yes, I'm willing to go there. I'm willing to go that simple. Good guy versus bad guy. Don't let the bad guys win. You don't want the bad guys to win. No one wants the bad guys to win. So don't let them win. Only you can stop them. Don't let them beat you. Find the time, the energy. Create the time and the energy to be happy to be optimistic, to care. And that's uh, all I gotta say. I didn't expect this video to go on for so long and I didn't expect to get so emotional about this, but I think it's something that needs to be said. Yes, it, it's not all about video games. This is more of a life topic than anything and I'm a gaming channel, but you know, there are sometimes there are just things that need to be said. So I hope someone, at least one person out there, got something from this video and heard what I had to say. And if you didn't quite understand what I have to say, I would recommend listening again, maybe having a conversation about it with others, or just thinking about it amongst yourself. Whether you like it or not, this is something important. This is important. You are important. The human race is important. Life is important. But yeah, that's been a video. I hope you guys, again, took something from it. I hope you enjoyed it in some way. I hope this helped you in some way. And I will see you guys later.